Today, I want to show you how to create a triangle in GIMP. It's going to be awesome. So if you're ready, let's do it. All right, let's create a new document with these dimensions, 1500 by 1500 with a resolution of 300. And I'm going to fill with the foreground color. I'm going to come down here and double click and type in 45 and hit enter or return to zoom out. Now, the reason why we had to zoom out is because I want to be able to see the bottom corners here because those are going to be two points of the triangle. The third point is going to be up here at the top and I want it to be directly in the center of the document, which is 750. So I'm going to click here and drag over a guide to that 750 mark and it's not showing. So I need to go up to view and click on show guides. All right. So this is going to be the third point of our triangle, the top of our triangle right here. So to create our triangle, we're going to create a path and then fill it in with a color. So let's grab our path tool, which is right here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter B. Let's click right here to add that first point and that leaves behind an anchor point. Now down here in the bottom right, I'm gonna click right here again for another anchor point and that creates the path or the side of our triangle. We're gonna come over here to the bottom left and click again to create the bottom side of the triangle. And then to complete our triangle and to complete the path, we have to close it out by coming back to the first point and holding down our control key and clicking right here. And then that creates all three sides of our triangle. There's only one problem, and that is this triangle is not equal on all three sides. The left and right side here are longer than the bottom. I want all three sides to be equal. So let's fix that. Let's first go up to view and click on show grid. Now I know if we go 200 pixels down, that will create a perfect triangle or perfect length on all three sides. And I know this because I did the measurements earlier. So instead of creating a new path or a new shape, with that anchor point right here, we can actually click on this one and drag it down to that point right there. Now, let me show you how I measured all three sides to ensure that they were the same length. If you go over here to tools and click on measure, you can come over here, click here, and then drag down here. And then if you look right here, you can see the length in pixels. I drag this point over here, we can see that it's pretty close. It was off by a couple pixels. So you can zoom in to get the exact placement. Now by doing that, I lost my path. But if I go up to Windows Dockable Dialogs and click on Paths from here, I can turn on the path that I had created previously and I get this red outline. Now to activate or turn this outline into a path again, I need to grab my pass tool and click on that red outline. And now I can come up here to the pass panel and turn off that path. All right, now we need to fill it in with a color. But before we do that, let's go ahead and create a new layer called triangle. All right, now let's come over here to our foreground color swatch and choose a new color. Over here in the tool options, we're gonna click on fill path with a solid color. Once you click here, boom, you have your triangle on a new layer. How cool is that? All right, now check out that video right there to the left, and it's going to show you three different ways to create circles in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.